Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and this morning we've got a fun video for you. And uh, we're going to be putting out more videos every week. So one or two of those videos are going to be something fun that's not a fix in a car video. This is one of those videos. So if you're only on the channel because you like watching fixed cars, then this video may not be for you. But if you want to watch it, then you're more than welcome to just trying to reach a, a wider audience. But you'll have more than, more than ever. You'll have more videos than ever of fixing cars since I am putting out more every week. So... Uh, don't be alarmed. You'll get a lot of those videos today um, This is my wife's CRV that we fixed up for her got the new uh, fender on looks okay pretty good not too bad and um, We've got new tires. So this was the spare All the other tires are worn out. So I've got a new set of tires and I'm gonna return this as the spare But I actually uh, well, I'm gonna get an alignment as well, but I had an idea to see um, if the tire shop is going to uh, use an impact wrench to tighten them down or use a torque wrench. So I've got this digital torque meter um, and I'll put the link in the description because people are always interested what tools I'm using. And we're just gonna measure uh, the torque to see, I'm gonna torque them down uh, to their um, desired torque, you know, their, their recommended torque and see how much it takes to pull them off. It should be all pretty even. And then when we get it back from the shop, we'll see if they are all uh, similar to that, if they're all about the same torque to take off, or if uh, you know they're all a little bit different and they were uh, using an impact. They could be using a torque stick on the impact as well, so we'll be measuring uh, the effectiveness of that if we, uh, if we can tell that's what they did, see if everything's torqued down at least to about the same uh, spec. So we'll, we'll tighten all these down to uh, their recommended torque real quick and then see how much it takes to get them off. All right, so we've got this torque adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. We've got it set to foot pounds and it's gonna let us know when it gets to the peak torque. I'm gonna to go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to 80 foot pounds, which is the recommended torque for these. So what I'll be doing now is just loosening them all and then setting them all to 80 foot pounds exactly. And then we'll see how much force it takes to loosen those. And uh, they should be all pretty even probably somewhere around like 65 foot-pounds or something like that. So we'll loosen up two or three at a time. Since it is just still on the ground, I'll do these three first. And then we'll do the other two. Perfect, so we got to 81 on that. We'll try this one as well. Let's see, we gotta reset it. All right, it was like it stuck at 79 point something. When I pulled a little bit more, it went up to 83, but not a big deal. Eighty point one. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we'll uh, loosen up those other two, and then we'll see how much it takes to take off each one. Then we'll be able to tell if uh, they're close to that. Then they use the torque wrench. If not, then they might have used an impact. All right, there we go. Those are all set to right around 80 foot-pounds. Now we'll loosen them up and see what the torque is to take each one of those off. All right, so we've got this set to peak again. It's gonna store the highest amount of torque needed. Perfect, just what I was thinking, 63.4. We'll try that on the other two. Let's zero it. Seventy-nine 
Go ahead and tighten those back down. It'll let us know when we're at 80 since it's preset. Perfect. Now we got these last two to take off. Should be about 65 foot pounds. Sixty three point nine and last but not least, looks like about sixty eight. Oh, fifty eight. Okay, we'll tighten those down and then we'll know they should be around sixty to sixty five foot pounds. If they if they differed wildly, then uh, we'll know that they used an impact. And I'm not going to ask them beforehand because if I do, then it probably will increase the chances that they use a torque wrench just because I asked. Instead, I'll just uh, check them when I get home and uh, then, we'll, then we'll know, then they'll have done it by themselves. And I'm assuming they're gonna use torque sticks or uh, a torque wrench. Just curious to uh, see without uh, tipping anybody off, kind of a secret behind the scenes little uh, action to see what they're doing. So we'll tighten those last two down. Uh, we'll go take this in to get the tires on and get in alignment. All right, that'll do it. There's a few pieces missing on the vehicle as still. Um, those gas struts on the back window, and I'm missing part of the roadside kit. I have the spare. I think I'm missing uh, the wrench and a jack, so I'll probably pick those up since... Uh, I'll be close by to AutoZone. I'm just going to grab a couple of things. So I'll grab uh, probably a jack if they have some sort of scissor jack or something that fits in the back. And then a 19 millimeter wrench to uh, remove these wheel nuts if uh, we ever get a flat tire. And uh, new tires are needed badly. They're pretty dry rotted here on the side. So I've driven some tires that were dry rotted like this, like a lot of people have. I was uh, younger and a little bit more careless and I lost a chunk of tread on the interstate so don't I do not recommend driving uh, dry rotted tires besides they're bald I'm just not gonna put my family in this car without some good tires so that's the last step to getting that uh, ready to drive and uh, well I've, I need airbags and seat belts as well so yeah we're almost done but there's the fender body lines look okay pretty good and that's it so there's the update. Oh, and I'm gonna fix that bumper, but they can drive it with a dented bumper. All right, so here we are. We just got the tires aligned. We got new tires all around, and we're gonna go ahead here and see uh, if we got everything torqued down correctly, and uh, just kind of double check and see if we can figure out what they were doing. All right, so we got the torque meter on here. We're setting this to loosen, and we'll be able to see the max torque that's put on it should be somewhere about 60 to 65 from the initial test that we did all right so there's 89 we'll clear that out try these other two 64 we'll clear that out and 82 so i thought i heard some air guns going on back there and i when i dropped it off i peeked and i didn't see any torque sticks on any of them but i wasn't sure if they were taking them off so again i wasn't going to say anything but we'll tighten these back down to 80. right on the dot and we'll try those other two and i guess we'll do this for every tire See what we what we're just tightening here. Okay, now we've got these other two 
we'll test and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just say confirm my suspicion that they probably didn't use a torque wrench that one's not bad 76 higher than it should be if it was at 80 but probably within the range of, accur range of accuracy of a torque stick but let's see here 82 on that one so we'll tighten these back down to 80 and we'll just do this on all four tires and I'll just show you any of the outstanding ones on any of the others all right hop over to the other side and see if anything's weird over here people think they can be accurate with a torque wrench uh, this just goes to show you you can be semi-accurate you know they didn't torque it down to 200 foot pounds but not accurate enough to rely solely on an impact gun yeah like that one's 93 for example to come loose I'll show you that one 93 there That one was 95, so not quite uh, what you'd expect from a tire shop. I don't know why they would just have one of these that's preset. Most vehicles are like 80 foot pounds. I think they said all of Hondas pretty much are 80 foot pounds or just have torque sticks, you know? Since that's pretty much the only thing they do all day long, but I'll try these out and see if anything's weird. 78 61 68 yeah so a little a little unfortunate to think that if I wasn't doing this test I should have come back on my own regardless to retort the lug nuts and that uh, I just uh, maybe shouldn't trust them so it's a bummer because now every time I get my tires changed I'm gonna have to go back and torque them on myself 66 that one's probably right on and 68 probably pretty good as well but tighten them down One more to do, and that'll do it for this video. Let's see what we get here. And technically, you're not supposed to use these to loosen. I am just measuring the torque, though, so probably not. Wow, that was 106. Look at that one. Probably not what you're supposed to do this tool. I mean, it says so, and that one is 98. Those ones are all way too tight. Well, those first two. Again, what you're not supposed to do. It says in the manual, holy smokes. That was 110. Somebody got trigger happy on this rear wheel. Sorry, I keep interrupting myself. The manual says don't loosen stuff with them. Again, it's just part of the test, so. You're not supposed to do that with this tool, but I am for your sake. And this is super nice. I think it's going to replace my torque wrench because it's going to be a lot more accurate as well. Okay, two more, 110 is the highest. This is the one I almost didn't do. Was that 88? <laughs> 99.5. Yeah, too tight back here, far too tight. Okay, well, there we go. That's it. That'll do it for this video. 
I'm almost done with this project. We'll I'm Ernest. Thanks for watching this fun video. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Subscribe if you liked it. Thanks.